Las Vegas shooting, what we know about the victims so far. One was an emergency room nurse who'd gone to Las Vegas for a wedding anniversary, and died protecting his wife from gunfire. Another was a military veteran who served in Afghanistan. A police records technician from Manhattan Beach, California, also went to the Route 91 Harvest Country Music Festival on Sunday night, and she, too, became part of the soaring death toll in America's deadliest mass shooting in modern history. Here's what we know about those killed in the attack so far. Sonny Melton Sonny, 29, and his wife, Heather, were celebrating their wedding anniversary at the music festival when gunfire rang out, NBC Tennessee affiliate WSMV reported. Sonny, an emergency room nurse, saved my life, Heather Melton said. He grabbed me and started running when I felt him get shot in the back. I want everyone to know what a kind-hearted, loving man he was, but at this point, I can barely breathe, Heather said. Christopher Roybal Debbie Allen went to the music festival with her son, Christopher Roybal, a 29-year-old military veteran who served in Afghanistan. But they got there at different times. When Allen texted Roybal, asking for his location, she never heard back. And when the gunfire began. They were on opposite sides of the stage, Alan said. I was trying to run towards wherever I thought he might be, she said. This man wouldn't let me, he kept pulling me away saying, you can't run towards the gunfire. Alan later found a firefighter who'd been walking behind her son when he was hit. He told me my son was shot in the chest, that he said, I was hit, I'm hit, Alan said. They all bent down when the gunfire began and my son just fell back. Adrian Murfitt Murfitt, a 35-year-old commercial fisherman, had traveled to Nevada from his home in Anchorage, Alaska, after a successful season on the water, the Associated Press reported. Murfitt was happy to pay some things off and had made some really good money, his sister, Shannon Gothard, told the AP. He decided to go out and celebrate and go to the concert and treat himself to something nice and fun. Gothard told the AP that her family spoke with a friend who was with her brother when he died. Rod LaRock LaRock, 42, of Tewksbury, Massachusetts, was also among the dead, NBC Boston reported. We've lost the gem, her mother, Ron LaRock, told the station Monday. She didn't deserve this. Her family doesn't deserve this, said Jennifer Zolniski, LaRock's half-sister. She was an amazing person, a great mom, great wife. She always had something nice to say when you needed it. Lisa Romero Muniz Gallup McKinley County Schools Superintendent Mike Hyatt confirmed during a news conference Monday that Romero Muniz died Sunday night. Romero Muniz had worked in the district since 2003 and was most recently a disciplined secretary at Mamura High School in Gallup, New Mexico. She not only an employee of our school district, but was an incredible, loving and sincere friend, mentor and advocate for our students, Hyatt said. She was outgoing, kind and considerate. We will miss all these attributes that she brought and shared. Rachel Parker Parker was a records technician with a decade-long career at the Manhattan Beach Police Department, in Los Angeles. She'd gone to Las Vegas with a colleague, a department spokeswoman said. The unidentified colleague, an officer with the department, was shot but survived, said the spokeswoman, Christy Colombo. Parker did not. She will be greatly missed, Colombo said. Kurt Von Tillo Van Tillo, 55, was from Cameron Park, California, a small town in the Sierra foothills outside Sacramento. Vantello was shot dead Sunday night, two relatives were wounded but expected to survive, NBC affiliate KCRA reported. Vantello was memorialized at the local country club on Monday, and relatives and friends led a procession of golf carts to his home. There, an American flag was attached to a fence and bouquets of flowers were strewn across the grass. Sandy Casey Casey, also from Manhattan Beach, California, was a special education teacher who worked for the city's unified school district for nine years, NBC Los Angeles reported. A country music lover, 
She'd gone to the festival with her fiancé and some friends, and they'd been near the stage when she was shot in her lower back, according to the Washington Post. He tried carrying her to safety, dodging gunfire along the way, though eventually she stopped breathing, the Post reported. This is unbelievably sad and tragic, said the district superintendent, Mike Matthews, according NBC Los Angeles. We lost a spectacular teacher who devoted her life to helping some of our most needy students. Carrie Barnett Barnett, 30, was a longtime Disneyland worker who had gone to Las Vegas to celebrate a friend's birthday, the Los Angeles Times reported. She was always generous and helping everybody in every way, her mother, Mavis Barnett, told the paper. She loved her nieces and nephews and her sister and brother. Disney CEO Robert Iger confirmed her death Monday night in a post on Twitter. A senseless, horrific act, and a terrible loss for so many, he wrote. We mourn a wonderful member of the Disney family, Carrie Barnett. Tragic. Quinton Robbins Robbins, 20, took his girlfriend on a date to the music festival, and when he began clutching his chest, she thought that Robbins, a diabetic, had low blood sugar levels, the Washington Post reported. She didn't realize he'd been struck in the chest, Robbins' grandmother, Gaynor Wells, told the paper. Robbins was the oldest of three and a student at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. He was just a jewel, Robbins said, according to the Post. Angie Gomez Gomez, 20, graduated high school two years ago, had just gotten a job as a certified nursing assistant, and was attending the festival to celebrate, the Washington Post reported. Citing a family friend, the paper reported that she was shot three times, once in the shoulder and twice in the arm. She died before her longtime boyfriend could get her to a hospital. School officials in Riverside, California, described her on Monday as a determined but convivial student who loved theater and choir. We are shaken and saddened by this news, the district said in a statement. And she was a loyal friend who loved her family and will be forever missed by all who knew her. NASA Tonks Tonks worked for a Southern California-based technology company and had three children. Her employer, Technologent, confirmed Monday that she died. On a fundraising page, friends recalled her jovial side, posting photos of her wrapped in toilet paper or flashing a goofy grin for the camera. Nasa was always down to be silly, one friend wrote. More memories than I can count are of her laughing and she had the best laugh. She will be greatly and deeply missed. Susan Smith Smith, 53, was an elementary school office manager and district fixture in Simi Valley. California, someone who never missed a dance recital and always had a smile on her face. It's numbing, a family friend, Suzanne Smith, told NBC Los Angeles. It doesn't seem real. Smith's death was confirmed by Simi Valley School District spokeswoman Jake Finch, who told the Washington Post she'd been at the festival with friends when she was killed, 